Okay, let's continue up next. We have the sterling silver gemstone post earrings, ruby or sapphire at forty nine ninety nine. Now you don't always bring us ruby and sapphire. No, well, you know, we, you know, when we're working in Jaipur, we come across them. This is true corundum that, uh, you, and you know, of course, ruby and sapphire are both coming from that family. And what we've done is combine them with the exotic wire work of the Maharani collection, you know, bringing to mind a different uh, regal heritage, but that of Rajasthan. The brides of uh, the kings of Nepal always came from the royal families of Rajasthan. And when I'm in uh, Jaipur, I actually stay at one of the uh, palaces for one of the, he was the king of Digi. And Digi was one of the subsidiary kingdoms to Jaipur. Okay. And when I was, you know, staying there talking to the owner's wife, and she's actually a queen, Oh my you know, gosh. but she doesn't call herself queen uh, of her principality. Talking about these ancient techniques, and said so she remembers you know, going to these grand receptions where all the minor kings would come in, and they'd all be wearing their their rubies and emeralds and sapphires, their gold. But a lot of it done in these exact techniques you see here. So there's such a you know so much similarity and uh, symmetry between the situations in Kathmandu and Jaipur. And she mentioned that she is related to the Nepali royal family because over wow. the years so many of her relatives would have intermarried into that family. Wow, so isn't that small something? World. It is a it's, small it's world. It's amazing that it still exists. When I'm sitting, <laughs> talking to this woman who's so erudite and like so well spoken, and it just I'm almost reeling for you know the idea because we live in a country of something that's 50 years old or 100 years old. It's there we're talking. Yeah. Her ancestors would have moved into this area about 1,200 years ago. Gosh, that's yes. amazing. Maybe. That is incredible. And here we are looking at both options, everyone, and the blue sapphire or the red ruby. So these are both corundum. That's right. Which is very exciting. And it's also durable, nine on the hardness scale. Take a look at not only the gemstone, but the sterling silver work that Andrew was talking about. It's a disc of fine sterling silver work, post and butterfly backing on those. And they're five-eighths of an inch in length, four pierced ears. And they have a little bit more of an oxidized finish. That's right, and the oxidization is put there on purpose, um, and we That's recommend lazy. that you put it there because what it does is it gives dramatic relief to the silver. So it's very, very lightly oxidized. But what we wanted to, you know, and you know, it also gives more of a dramatic backdrop to these uh, beautiful pieces of corundum. Even though they're small, they do have a beautiful color in them and under $50. Yes, so which is such a treat. We love that kind of price. Uh, we That's do, and we also love rubies and sapphires. So, so nice to see in Himalayan gems. Let's talk.